Hello, how are you guys doing today? Um, to your surprise, and as you notice, I'm on a regular two screen. I know you guys probably did not expect that from me. Uh, you know, I posted all in total about 98 Red Alert 2 videos. Because I did two versions. No, like 102 Red Alert 2 videos. Because I posted two versions. Uh, so, you know, this is quite a familiar sight, actually. So, okay. So, as you notice, I am America in a skirmish battle in the map Alamo against Germany. Uh, Germany is a crap skirmish faction. I don't know if I'm going to be doing strategies for them, and this video is more, it is strategy, uh, covering the allies in the Alamo, or America in the Alamo, but it's it's just for fun too, uh, just to screw around, get out a video while I'm making my secret walkthrough. I do have all the gameplay shot, I just have to narrate it, and uh, the project trailer thing is about 80% done. And uh, that's been going well. That's for that's real fun. So what you're doing right here, you got three engineers. You want to get an ore, uh, ore refinery up as soon as you can. Uh, three. You're gonna be using three of your. Frick, the thing is lagging. Um, you're gonna be using three of your engineers to take the oil derrick nearest to you, an oil derrick down in the southeast corner, and a airport up in the western side of the map and uh, this is a one of the main things that you're going to be doing is starving the enemy this is a great tactic in this map you start the, the way you starve an enemy as you saw there I earlier I went to the Alamo that is right in the center of the map they got a good it's a really good point to branch out in the map it gives you access to both sides of the map and uh, that, that gem field uh, there as well and it can thwart a lot of attacks as well. So if you can starve the enemy and get a good number of GIs going around the map, that's why the Allies are, or America is great for this map, because they got the paratroopers. Um, British is not that great because the sniper needs more of a wide uh, map, more wide battle, same with the bl uh, Black Eagle. And uh, Tank Destroyer is just crap Ola in general, so don't advise being them. And France... The Grand Cannon uh, can be quite hilarious at times. You know, they're thinking they'll be all an enemy is being all cool going in there with Tanya and uh, blowing up your nuke or weather control device. You got a Grand Cannon sitting, you know, three football fields away. Goodbye, Tanya. Some somehow somewhere that Grand Cannon turns around its slow moving head and uh, takes Tanya down. So. I don't really like being them though. Oh, that's not good. They got a rush of prism tanks, grizzlies, and uh, IFEs going on right in the beginning. Uh, you do not want to lose that Alamo in most cases in multiplayer. That's going to be vital for you. It'll allow you to starve the enemy. Um, but we got a little firefight going on. And we shouldn't be too much of a problem because they just got um, two prisms. That's our biggest threat. Uh, we got some GIs to number the grizzlies. So. And right away, you want to get a barracks, a pillbox. Pillbox is wherever you have some tech buildings or um, the neutral buildings. Uh, Alamo's in rubble. And you're going to get some grizzlies and maybe a couple IFBs just in case a rocketeer slips by or a harrier um, for emergency maneuvers. And uh, just the forewarning, my, my narrating thing has been getting a little laggy. So if you have any blacks, like black segments in your video or it's just nothing um, you'll understand why this is the forewarning alright we're going to get a battle lab up might be a little pre premature if you want to get some more funds before so and that's okay you want to get plenty of paratroopers as well you're going to have two different uh, supplies of them and that's great in this mission that's why the uh, America is so effective here um Oh, get that little trusty box there. Got some funds. And we'll put the battle lab down there. Not too safe a spot. Uh, usually, the, when you're playing the computer, they don't recognize the subsidiary base as much um, as a multiplayer human does. But, uh, you know, we'll take our chances. We'll roll the dice. I usually don't do that, as you probably have noticed in CNC. I usually, well, I don't know. I don't know. 
I kind of have an identity crisis sometimes on what kind of a player I am. Uh, a lot of times, when I'm given the opportunity, I will rush you uh, with not as not all the times overwhelming numbers, but just what I have, just finding exploiting a weakness. Other times, I'm a real turtler. I, I don't know. It, it's all about being like you know what. Screw having a certain identity as a CNC player. If you can be a chameleon, uh, you can, you know, transform into a certain strategy, uh, mold, you know, uh, into a situation, that's going to be most effective. Uh, people do like and do try to identify themselves with a certain strategy uh, in CNC or any video game, so just because, you know, that's what I like to, they, they need a title, they need something to call themselves by, um, I'd say be a chameleon, that's your title, chameleon, chameleon, basically, okay, and get a service depot there, you usually want to put service depot wherever most of your mining is going on, um, sometimes that's not even at your main base, so put a service depot down there, and it looks like we got some, we had some tank destroyers down there harassing us, so that's the Probably one of the main reasons for that service depot. And good, GIs are holding it down for us so we can get some more forces down there. You want to get plenty of Mirage tanks, plenty of GIs there. There's going to be that's going to be the trick. Uh, that's going to really thwart the enemy, uh, not allow them to get to your base, get to that minefield. Uh, not <laughs> minefield. Whoa! No one wants to go to a minefield. I don't know what I'm yelping at. Uh, plenty of grizzlies. Uh, that's good if you're in like second tier or something or first tier. But traditionally, the prism tank and mirage tank combo is quite effective. Yeah, sprinkle on a couple IFVs to deal with the air. Uh, you got yourself a good strike force. Quite boring though. That's why I'm not a fan of vehicular uh, battles as much. They kind they tend to be more bland, uh, more quite explosive, but quite bland. There's little strategy involved. That's why I, I like throwing in a few infantry. You know, a couple. You know, I like a couple. Um, what the heck? I don't mind seeing this blinking thing out there. I don't know what that's going on. Um, we got some problems with those grizzlies right there. They are firing apocalypse rounds, basically. That's what it looks like. Uh, even when I'm not on the same side as one of those guys, just seeing those things explode are quite satisfying. Uh, to say the least. Uh, my little anecdote. Oh yeah, trivia question. I totally threw that out the window and did not tackle that right away. Um, it's going to relate to Red Alert 2. We're going to keep it in the Red Alert 2 mode right now. Uh, what two units did I use to take down the Psychic Amplifier in Operation Last Chance for the Allied campaign in my Red Alert 2 walkthrough? So, what two units did I use? It was a sneaky one. Got that done in about four minutes, I remember. I was, that was good. Uh, I did do that in the first run through of Red Alert 2 in like six. Four just blew my mind, to be honest with you. It blew my mind away. Alright. Okay. Um, there you go. Take out that or minor. Hopefully the sound's not too bad. I have, I have somewhat of a problem getting a good... See, Snagit, the one that I used for Red Alert 2 and Yours Revenge, uh, didn't offer you the recording option, uh, Vista Direct Stream, which I use for Fraps, and that's why my Fraps games that I record, like Red Alert 2, Halo, have such good sound quality. Um, Red Alert 2, or Red Alert 1, Halo, um, in general. Red Alert 2 and Yours Revenge were kind of shaky are kind of shaky and their sound at least in my opinion compared to what they can be because I don't have the Vista Direct Stream option that I do on Fraps I just have like microphone connects and I don't know something so I apologize if you're turning the volume down I try, I'll try to have my uh, when I do edit this a little bit I'll try to have my voice be a little bit louder than um, what the gameplay is actually Alright, good, good, oh man, alright, that's no big deal, uh, we didn't need those guys, that was just fodder, basically, what, you, you're really gonna end up using Rocketeers to take out their base if you're gonna starve them, 
Oh, that's going to be a great strategy because um, they tend to run out of power, too. Freaking don't lag. Don't lag. Good. I'm going to have a couple black spots in this video, but um, screw it. Uh, and this will be a two-parter as well. You're going to expect probably about a nine or eight minute video for the uh, second part of this skirmish. Little, little surprise. Surprise. Um, yeah. Uh, having fun with the secret walkthrough again. Uh, it's an interesting process putting it together though. Um, had to convert my videos about mm, three times now. That was, that was, that was an experience, to say, say the least. It was to say the least about the second time in this video. And say the least, I have 15 minutes left, or seconds left. Freaking minutes, that would be an insanely long video. I'd have to be a partner, which I am definitely not. Um, so, 